Hi, Stephen Caleb from Brownells with another edition of Smithbusters. And today, well, what do we got going today, Caleb? Well, today we're going to be talking about forged uppers, or well, forged receivers and billet receivers. Okay. So there's been a lot of talk, um, and this has been a rumor for quite a long time, that billet receivers, or billet anything, is stronger than forged. Okay, yeah. But forging actually compresses the metal in right. the case of aluminum and results in a harder product, if I'm it, not mistaken. It does. So if you think of it as having grain structure, which it does have grain structure, think of it like kind of like wood. All the grain, grain is going in one direction, one linear direction. Okay. And whenever you forge it, you're beating it into that shape. So that grain is following all the contours and curves of it, which is reinforcing those contours and curves. Okay. Whenever you have billet, you're basically just dealing with one grain structure and then you're cutting that shape into it. So you're cutting through the grain rather than forging it or compressing it into a specific direction. So the forged is gonna be stronger. Sure, now if you're talking about aluminum, this is all true. If you're talking about steel components, it's usually billet versus cast, yep. in which case the billet is stronger. So if you're buying a hammer or sear and it's made out of billet, yeah, that's better, much better. Yeah, and as a good general rule for pretty much any type of metal, uh, you have cast, you have billet, then you have forged and for, as far as, you know, weakest or strongest goes. Right, right. And most, well, like uh, revolver frames, Smith & Wesson forges their frames, yep. for example. And they're very strong. That's why they can make them so light and graceful. Yeah, and uh, AK trunnions. Cast AK trunnions got a really bad rep reputation because they weren't strong. And of yeah. course, forged AK trunnions are the way to go. Those are the strongest. Right. So I think uh, that myth's kind of busted. Yeah. So I think real quick, let's cover why someone would use billet over forged. I can think of one good reason. What you got? Um, billet allows you to machine a different shape and you get some really cool looking receivers out of the deal. Agreed, yeah, so for example, this JP side charge upper, I'm not gonna say you can't do it with forged, but the all the materials and dies and things like that you need to make a forged right. You right. Know, setup is extremely expensive. That's why there's not that many people in the country that actually forge these receivers. Mm -hmm. Yep, and the, all the forgers are set up to make sort of mil-spec receivers, right. really. exactly. So whenever you go with a, not to say that billet's not strong, billet's still strong, and then you get some additional features with it, like side charge or um, different forward assists and different things like that. Right, so it is well, uh, well up to the job. It's quite strong enough to do what an upper receiver or a lower receiver needs to do, but it is not stronger than a forged component. Yeah, so I'm gonna consider that myth busted. Billet is not stronger than forged. I'm with you on this one. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any uh, comments or anything to leave us, do it right below. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time with another edition of Smith Monsters.